Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. How is everyone doing today? Are you having a nice day? <clears throat> I hope you are having a nice day wherever you are in the world. Today we're looking at a mail time vlog, and I don't know what this is. So we're going to open it, and we're going to see what it is. Could be one of three things that I've bought lately, or exchanged lately. So, I don't know, let's see. Ooh, I think I know what this is. How do I get in here? Let's <laughs> just start hacking. Maybe it'll reveal itself. Okay, here we go. All right. It seems to be a wing sung pen. <clears throat> There she is. I can't see. Sorry. I've been getting really bad at that lately. So here we have some package. Okay. Oh, there's the little Wingsung logo. I know that logo anywhere. Paper box. Try not to rip the box because I'm really good at it. Oh. oh my goodness, and there's the pen. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's just phenomenal. I thought that the cap was going to be translucent. Oh my god, it's so big. That's what she said. But look at how big it is. That is gorgeous. That is just simply gorgeous. This is a massive pen. If you guys are thinking thoughts about getting the Wingsung 630. Oh my goodness, this is just... The pen is massive. It's 14, uh, 14 centimeters long. <clears throat> and almost almost 15 millimeters wide 15 millimeters wide here we have a fountain pen care guide oh and a little bit of silicone grease very nice very nice super nice little touch shows you how to shows you the parts of the pen oh and it's not in English great Fantastic. Well, I figure if you don't, it, maybe you can look at the pictures. Push the pen all the way down, twist it one way, bring the ink up. Use the silicone grease on the piston if it needs it. But right now it doesn't seem to need it. Oh man, this is so cool. I just, I love it so far. I don't, I don't post my pens. And that doesn't post. Nope. That does not post. Well, that stinks for people who like to post. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> All right. know what this is I can update the uh, title of the video so what do you think what ink should we ink this up with oh I just I love the red color <clears throat> let's see how many times it tr takes to unscrew the cap 20 and about a half, one and a half, so that's nice. 
one and a half. Excellent. So number eight size nib, plastic feed. Friction fit. I got the medium size nib. And here we have the little cutouts that you can unscrew the uh, the grip sack, the, the nib housing. <clears throat> it's the same size as the, uh, would be the same size as the Mont Blanc 149, except for it has flat end, flat finials. I got the flat finials because I wanted it to be different. Oh, it's a circular. Nib housing, so it doesn't really seem to matter which way it goes in. That's nice. All right. Oh. And if you just hold on to the nib, you can unscrew the nib housing. So that's convenient for cleaning purposes. Very convenient. I'm gonna. I have some. So they gave us some silicone oil, but I'm going to use some silicone <clears throat> grease to make sure that the snip housing is nice and I can't tell if that's an O-ring or not. That is an O-ring. An O-ring right there. So... That's nice. Little tiny bit will do ya. <coughs> Little dab will do ya. Make sure it's nice and screwed in there. Gosh, what ink do you think we should put in here? Nice medium nib. Light. Zoom way in. It's very difficult to capture this uh, nib. I don't know why. There we go. It says Wing Song 1947 Wing Song logo. It says Wing Wings. It's got some scroll work. I don't know if I did that or if a machine did that, but it looks like it's, it has a small defect right there. Group section barrel, a one material. Uh, 
beautiful translucency. So beautiful. Okay. Let's ink this up with something. <clears throat> I'm thinking a green ink. What do you think? No. Not a green ink? You don't want to put a green ink in a red pen? Why not? Come on. Let's put... A red ink in a red pen. Let's see, what do we got? What would look nice in this pen? This one was looking very nice. Ooh, that's oxblood. What is this one? This one says diamond maple leaf. That one is also a contender. <clears throat> Perhaps, ooh, diamond spiced apple, my favorite red at the moment. Oxblood is nice. Deep dark red is also nice. Might want something not, um, Lighter, Rouge Hematite, Monte Grappa Red, no, no, pink. This is pink. This is in the wrong department. Diamond Matador, I don't know what that is. Inferno Red, <coughs> Aries, Nanina, trying to find an ink that I have lots of. Onk's blood kind of matches the finials, but not really the barrel. I'm almost thinking, let's see, what kind of bottles do I have? Maybe all the best. That's kind of, hmm. No. Or perhaps. Monaco Red or. <clears throat> this is also Monaco Red. No. Maybe I'm thinking Red Dragon. Yes, I think the Red Dragon is the one. Go Red or Red Dragon. Gosh, you're so close. Now I'm like half second guessing myself. <clears throat> I want it to be nice. I have writer's blood also. No. Oh, that's ox blood. What is that writer's blood? That's too brown. Ox blood is 
pretty close too. <clears throat> hmm. These out, these are still these pens. All right, I think we're gonna go with Red Dragon. Uh -oh. <clears throat> or we could go with a diamond ink pen calendar ink. Uh, humbug would really go well in this and in the finials but not necessarily the barrel and nothing really matches the barrel except for tinsel that's a shimmer ink I don't want to put a shimmer ink in it first okay red dragon it is <clears throat> Oh, I have one. Okay. <clears throat> I need to buy me an ink miser. I swear we had a whole box of them at the pen club. But I don't know what happened to them. Oh, that piston is so smooth. Oh yeah, that's the one. That totally matches the pen. Ah, oh, shit. I almost dropped my pen and then I freaking splattered ink everywhere. Damn it. Well, at least now I'm Christmas colors. And then yesterday I was holding either Oxblood or, no, I was holding Oxblood and I was trying to read the, the number on the back and a, a drop on the other side hit me like right here. And I thought, oh, people are going to think, look, it's already happening. People are going to think thoughts. Oh my God, it all the way down my front side too.
Beautiful. There. This can go back in the box. <clears throat> okay. Actually, that can go back in here in case I ever decide to get rid of this pen then I can put it back in the box with its little friend and then I can just woo! <clears throat> all right this is the Wing Sound 630. We have a medium nib. And we have in transparent. red with flat fails <clears throat> oh that is a smooth nib wow Slick as butter. I would have to rate that right up there with my Leonardo Memento Magico on the smoothness. It's so smooth. It's almost feeling like I don't have control. <clears throat> it's such a big pen, though. Whew. I sure like the color. Caps a little. The caps a little rough. If you know, if you have um, certain pens, you know that if you kind of twist them back and forth a little while, they kind of give a little bit. So, sometimes you gotta break them in a little bit. <laughs> but, And it's basically running under its own pressure. Mm. 
this is nice so nice <clears throat> okay let's do a little review shall we <clears throat> let's see let's talk about the Sound 630 flat flat top. Let's see there. Cap. Let's take a look at here. The cap. Oh, that's an interesting logo. I don't think I've seen that before. Oh wait, yes I have. There it is. It was upside down. There's the wing sung. Finial logo, <clears throat> cap ring that holds the clip, nice springy clip, fits over stuff, nice, cap tapers up to three semi bands, they're like connected. Let's see, what does it say? I can't see what that says. <laughs> Get my eyeballs. It says June, June, July 630. Made in Shanghai. <clears throat> So, it says, uh, hi, Shaq, how are you doing today? This one says, June lie. Does yours also say June lie? Because it's got the Wing Sung logo on the, the nib, and then it says June lie, and it has many different labels on it okay good to know how you been how you been <clears throat> all right cap let's take a look inside see oh there's a cap liner so that's nice with a little uh nut down there holding in the clip as plastic on plastic so that's something to consider it's a little tight, so you might need to twist and untwist it a little while to get it to be cooperative. Cap. Clip is good. Cap is good. Clip is good. Uh, cap rings. Nice. It's a thick, a thin ring, separated by a thick ring, separated by a thin ring, and then it has these connection points <clears throat> around it, which I find very interesting. I can't tell if they're like... It's very interesting. Anyway... And cap liner. All right, let's take a look at this here nib. It has a nice scroll work. It's a medium nib. I also have the ebony body 600, which is very, very tough to twist. Okay. It gets easier with time. Yep. Mine's still hard to twist after many months. Oh boy. Note to self. <clears throat> As a multicolored nib. A dual tone nib. Although I don't know if you can see that, but it almost looks like 
the middle color is different color from the outside. Maybe that's just my eye. But it looks like this middle bit is almost like a shade rose colored. Maybe it's just me. Multicolored. Medium. Tipping is round. Wow, that's actually really smooth. <coughs> I could totally use that upside down. Wow, that's amazing. <coughs> Excuse me for just a second. <coughs> Um, the reverse writing is quite Alexa stop. Uh, the the reverse writing was quite surprising. Smooth, nice, nice in all directions. That's quite shocking for such cheap. I mean, not cheap, but cheap-ish pen. Very nice. Um, <clears throat> as a number, number eight size nib, steel, uh, plastic feed, friction fit, no orientation, which means that there's no in particular way that you have to put the nib in a circular, which is nice, because then you don't have to worry about which direction you stick it in at, as long as it's consistent. At least that I can tell of anyway. Um, the nib collar unscrews the grip section and barrel are one piece Is it like, does yours feel like it bulges in the middle a little bit? There's like a tiny bit of bulge going on that I'm noticing. I, felt, I thought maybe it was just my, uh, my eye, but no, there's a very slight taper up and a taper down. Piston is very smooth. Usually I have to take a pen apart and re-grease the piston because for whatever reason they don't make it go down enough or they don't, uh, or it's like crunchy, but I haven't had to do anything to this pen. I mean, I have taken it apart, and I didn't even r rinse it out. Usually I have to rinse a pen out to get it to write, but this one didn't seem to need it at all, which is pretty awesome. Um, and the cap does not post. Hmm. 
which is too bad because you'd think that with a pen that size that you'd want oh it does post oh nope not that great Ooh, that's heavy I wonder why I didn't post before. Maybe I had the piston out? I don't know. <clears throat> but this is a really nice pen. I like it. I like it a lot. Mine is not flat top. I know yet. Usually they uh, they had the cigar shape. I was gonna get a black, a black one with the slits on the side like the Mont Blanc. One four nine, but I wanted to get this one because I like the flat bottom look of this in particular red pen better than the uh, <clears throat> than the black one with the slits. I thought that the cap was gonna be translucent though. I do want to look at the okay, that's been delivered. I should be getting a a package from Doug tomorrow. So that'll be exciting. Hopefully, we'll have another pen review tomorrow. <clears throat> and now, ladies and gentlemen, for the wheel, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. What is the purpose of the Pierre Gustafson test? The, pure, the purpose of the Pierre Gustafson test is to show that you can track a pen going at a relatively fast space without it skipping. No skipping. So that's very good. And when you do this test, you want to make sure that before you do the test that you wick out most of the ink from the feed because otherwise it's not fair. And you want to make sure that the feed has been desaturated enough so that way you can get a a good idea of how exactly that the uh, the nib and the ink will keep up. See, it died there for a second, but then it immediately started back up. I'm hoping if I could just keep it on the same angle, that would be great. So it, if you go too fast, it's going to skip. Then if you just slow down a little bit seems to keep up pretty nice if you go slow So you can see, <clears throat> you go too fast, it does skip a little bit. But not that bad. Not that bad at all. Definitely nice. That's a keeper, for sure. Sorry, Doug, you can't have it. <laughs> I 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> that is my first impressions review of the Wingsung 630 with a medium nib and red, translucent red, with flat bottoms. What do you all think about that? Are you thinking thoughts about getting this pen? Do you have this pen? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. That's all I've got for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And check out the links in the doobly-doo for discounts to Atlas Stationers and Pen Boutique and my website. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Have a great day. Oh, love you. Bye.